Original. Hello, all my friends. Welcome back to International Diecast Garage. We are so happy that you're here with us. Thanks for watching our channel. Hope you're all doing great. If you're not already, please consider subscribing to our channel. We've got lots of great stuff coming up for you. Uh, today, we're going to do an unboxing. This is going to be on an International J case. This has actually got my initials on it. JLK. Maybe we'll have some good luck. Maybe we won't. Either way, we're going to have a peek at this together. Appreciate you guys all tuning in with us. Hopefully we'll get some good stuff in here. Uh, we've been seeing this assortment uh, hit the shelves at our local Walmarts and some of the stores in our area are starting to get the take case. So without too much further ado, get my knife out here. We will go ahead and get this thing cracked open. Already inspected this case. Um, it is factory sealed, thankfully. Um, it appears to be a fresh case. And this is uh, from our friends over at Granite Toys. And just for full disclosure, we paid for this case. This was not a not a freebie. We've been watching Granite for a long time and want to help support those guys. And appreciate them and all they do over there. Feel free to check them out on their website. That's GranitToys.com. So let's get right into this. Let me get my box situated here. Let's we'll take a look at everything together. All right, first up, looks like we got the wheelie chair. Digging the black and gold. Very cool. Now this gentleman, if you're not familiar with him, Aaron Wheels. Uh, I can't pronounce his last name, forgive me for that, Aaron. Uh, but he rides in the Nitro Circus and uh, is setting new boundaries, no boundaries uh, for guys in a wheelchair. This dude flips and does some incredible things. If you're not familiar with him, uh, you definitely should check him out. Got a little total disposal, garbage truck, a little recycling action there for you. Take a look at the back here. This is J case. And these are US releases. What else we got hiding in here? Donut Drifter. It's always a fun model. Fantasy model about a donut. <laughs> we took a few of these up to our local donut shop and uh, the owner let her daughter open one up right there on the spot and thought that was pretty cool. Got some 68 Camaro, looking nice. Very nice. Good looking tampos, nice color on this one. Good, good livery on the fantasy version of the 68 Camaro. To my knowledge anyway, Hot Wheels hasn't built that one yet. T-Rex. Rex Troyer. Pretty neat cast, and I think my daughter's gonna like that one. She likes the dinosaurs. Remember a few years ago they did that one as a treasure hunt. That Rex is hard to say. <laughs> All right, this is a cool one. Let's race Netflix. This is gonna be the speed bump. Our cars. Uh, these are pretty neat. I think this is the first time, to my knowledge, that this has been found in the mainland. Um, these were included along with a monster truck as a second bonus car in there. Uh, also in the five packs, they've been available. But this is the first time that the Crush Cars has made it into the mainline. So that's something kind of new, something exciting. Pretty neat. We picked up a couple of those for our monster trucks to crush. Well, right now we're getting into the goods. Here's a 64 Chevy Chevelle SS. Man, that is really, really nice. Loving that. Of course, we like all things Chevelle. Mad Mike, tuned version, I might add. New for 2024, tuned. 
Mazda RX-3 looking great in that orange. Really digging the tune models. No, I'm not alone on that. They uh, definitely picking up some, some recent resurgence of popularity. There's a whole series coming out soon. Here's a neat another Let's Race. A little train car. West Coast Flyer. Very cool. I have to give a couple of them to my daughter and some of her friends. Excellent. Here we got the mailed it. That's pretty cool. It's a new release. Art car. Why? The Hot Wheels Art Car Series. Pretty neat fantasy model. Mod Rod. Also an art car. Looks like the C. This one's sporting Easter cap colors. Pretty cool. Ooh, look at this. 70 Dodge Charger. Fast and Furious. Looking nice in the Tune series. Excited to have one of those. Finally. And 66 Greenwood Corvette. Don't see this a whole lot. This has been released a few times over the years. The delivery on this one looks really nice. It's good to see that back in the main line once again. Another West Coast Flyer. We won't spend too much time on some of the ones that we've already seen. Speed Dozer looking nice in that bright green. Digging the brown tires and the big chrome pipes. Pretty neat fantasy casting. Hot Piler. Sure my daughter will get a kick out of that one. Let her play with that. Mazda Miata. That's looking nice in the orange. 15 model MX-5. That's pretty cool. Good looking livery on that. Glory Chaser. Pretty neat little fantasy casting. I was able to find the super of that in the Gulf a year or two back. It's pretty cool. Alright, we got the 95 Mazda RX-7. GMC Hummer EV, another 64 Chevy Chevelle SS, Mazda RX-7 is looking nice, in the white, nice tampos on the rear, GMC Hummer looking good in the purple, it's the EV version of the Hummer. We got the Group C Fantasy, 87 Dodge, D100. That looks good. A lot of Easter colors in this mix for some reason. But hey, I like it. Very cool. Old school Mopar. There's a little closer look at the Group C Fantasy. Not bad, kind of looks like a McLaren a little bit. A little purple base. Almost halfway there. And we got the Rock and Railer, another Group C Fantasy. Go ahead and move that on. Birthday truck here, Rock and Railer. Pretty neat. A little drag racing fantasy model. This is a new, new for 2024 birthday model. Looks like a slice of birthday cake. <laughs> That's supposed to be the back of the fork and then the front of the fork making up the grill. Birthday burner. That's a pretty cool model. I'm sure a lot of people will be happy to see that. Proper Chopper. Sporting the 68. Later Crater. And the Batman Arkham. Gotta love a nice helicopter. 
How else is the news crew going to get around? Later, Crater. Looks like something off of a, maybe a moon landing or something like that. Pretty cool. A little fantasy model. Batman Arkham Knight Batmobile with the yellow tampos on top. Looking pretty nice. Kind of a satin black, flat black. Very cool. Alright, look at that Corvette C6. Looking nice in the yellow with the yellow wheels. King Cuda. Very cool. 66 Triumph. Yeah, that yellow and the yellow wheels. That's a nice contrast on the Corvette. There are a lot of people be happy to see that. Other art cars. Love the red windshield and blown motor. Very neat. King Cuda. And the King Card. Nice concept. Another HW art cars. Been several of those in this case. 66 Triumph Tiger 100. This is cool. This is a new model for 2024. Kind of hard to see. His jacket says Triumph across the back. It's a really cool little race bike. Flip that over where you guys can pause that if you want to read that. All right, just a couple more and we'll be halfway through. I'll try to keep this moving. Got his on to R. Looking good in the yellow. 63 Studebaker Champ. Crimson Baja Bison T5. Pagani looks great in this yellow. A lot of metallic in that yellow. It really pops. Hopefully that'll come through on the camera. Studebaker. Grandfather drove a Studebaker. Not this particular model. It was a little older, but this is really cool. Love the color. I think that actually was around the color of my grandpa's. I think his was like a early mid 50s. And the Baja Bison T5. Kind of a hauler of sorts. A utility truck. They got first response on it, so it's maybe at the airport or at the races. Uh, carrying tires and equipment. Needs to be first response. Pretty cool. Moving on. We're halfway through the case. Just keep going. Could there will be a super in here. Could there be a regular treasure? Just don't know. We'll have to see. We will take a look. Find out together. Let me get my box repositioned here and we'll dive right in for a few more cards. See what we find. Let me get three together here. Mercury Eliminator, love that color. 69 Mercury Cougar. Eliminator, nice aqua. Road Bandit, pretty cool little bus. Colored windows, the School 57 Jeep FC. That's gonna be in flat red. It's a nice color, nice model. That's the third or fourth colorway on that. Next up, Mad Mike. Drift Attack. That's cool. Second Mad Mike in this box. Well, that's always good to see. Pretty nice satin blue. Got a flat blue on that. Another Batman Arkham Knight. Very cool. Can't be mad about getting a couple Batmans. And 07 Chevy Tahoe. Kind of a rescue squad. We got RSQ, that's what that stands for. Um, a fireman. So that's the reason I know that. <laughs> Moving on. Like another road bandit. Looking forward to the super on this next one. The Volvo P1800 gasser. That's a nice little casting. I, I like the color that they use for the windows. You don't use that color a lot, that bright neon orange, it's cool. And the McLaren Solus GT, looking nice in the orange. This casting's really growing on me. I like that. Alright. 
it. We got the regular Mitsubishi Pajero Evolution. Uh, this would be the Super if it was in the case, being as we're looking at this, and there's usually not a regular if the Super is in there. Um, it looks like we're not gonna have a Super in this case, which is fine. Not all about the chase, but we're all chasing the chase. Let's just get over that. Desert Drifter, get it? Desert, Desert Drifter. <laughs> like some kind of berries on the top there, some grapes. Pretty cool. My daughter will love that. Little fantasy model in the fast foodie. Duck and roll, this is cool. I'm liking this one. There's a glow in the duck on the side there. Pretty cool. What you can just about tell by the glance at this one, it's gonna glow. The card art even shows it glowing. Yeah, that's really neat. That'll get open tonight by my daughter. She absolutely loves rubber duckies right now. <laughs> All right. Another Tahoe Rescue Squad. Another one of the Volvos. Another Greenwood Corvette. Can't be too upset about that. Keep moving on. Another Mitsubishi Pajero Evolution. Definitely not going to be a super in here if there's two of those. A lot of doubles in this case. A lot of fantasy models in this case. Ooh, McLaren P1. Really, really light. Pearly blue. It's a really nice color on the McLaren. the Roland Solo be some sort of fantasy model I could spend a whole bunch of time on that one all right 2010 Camaro SS response team that's cool this one came out earlier in the year in a bright caution neon green I like this one too with the red windshield I guess I like the color windshields Mazda RX-3 Mad, Mad Mike new for 2024 tuned very very cool digging that Claren another one of those happy to have that and here we go another Batman I think that's number three for that Another one of those Jeeps. DeLorean Alpha 5, looking great in the copper. It's like uh, one of these so far in the case. Liking that color. Um, this model's actually coming out later this year. The Alpha 5, unless it's been rescheduled up again, it's supposed to be released in 2024 in the summer, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty cool. It'll be the first thing we've seen from DeLorean <clears throat> in many, many years. As far as actual production model here's a new one Porsche 904 Carrera GT this is a really cool really good looking model that's gonna be a new one for this year GTS sorry Carrera GTS this one just screams Le Mans to me it's from that era another wheelie chair and wheels very cool I like the black and gold you guys should check him out if you haven't already he's on instagram and youtube another fun fact a lego guy will hold right on to that <laughs> that's pretty cool all right we got another rolling solo another nailed it pretty neat okay let's see this next one Ultimate T-Rex Transporter. This is a miniature version of an actual Hot Wheels T-Rex Transporter that they made. Uh, that's also from the Let's Race uh, on Netflix. That's pretty cool. You can also go right in the store and find this actual hauler and place it. I think the T-Rex actually eats the cars, Hot Wheels cars, and spits them out the back too. So that's kind of neat. They made a miniature version of that. All right, getting towards the end here. 
Looks like we've got another King Kuda. That's welcome. Another 87 Dodge D100. This is nice, Mercedes. This is Unimog. That colorway looks really, really nice. Very nice. I like that. Good contrast with the brown wheels, too. All right, here we go. Last three. Got another 15 miles of MX-5 in the orange. That's cool. Another later crater. And we got another Studi. Well, looks like that's going to be it for this case, folks. Um, we didn't pull a regular treasure. I believe that was a motorcycle. Forgive me, I can't remember exactly which one. Uh, but that's okay. And uh, looks like we got two of the regular, but not the Super. Uh, the 66 Triumph, this was the other motorcycle in this assortment. Uh, very cool. Um, I think it was a Honda Cub that was the regular treasure. Fortunately, we didn't get that either. And so, uh, but that's okay. Again, not always all about the chase. We'll take what we get sometimes and just have to move on from there. Appreciate all you guys tuning in with us. I'm going to do a little highlight real quick. I'm going to put my top six up. Just my personal picks. Not necessarily saying these are the best ones in the case, but the nailed it. Mailed it. I think they nailed it with mailed it. It's a really cool one. Also like the DeLorean Alpha 5. That's another good one. Absolutely. And 2010 Camaro SS. We drive a Challenger. Very similar body style. And uh, love those style cars. Those body style. Forget what gen Camaro that is. Of course the 64 Chevy Chevelle SS. We have a 69 Chevelle wagon. They're crazy about all things Chevelle. Of course, we had to pick that as one of our favorites from this case. The red's really nice on this one. Love that they put some, some engine popping up out of that hood. Very cool. 70 Dodge Charger, looking nice. Mazda RX-3 Mad Mike, also cool and new. Love this Fast and Furious. That's uh, really cool. I'm glad that the team's making a comeback. So thankful that you've all tuned in with us. I hope that you're enjoying the content. We are having lots of fun making it. We're always looking forward to your likes, your comments, and your feedback. Please stay tuned for more diecast and car culture coverage. We hope that you are blessed. Please take care of yourself and your neighbors. Until the next one. Like and this is comment me and subscribe off. our channel. Stand by, my friends. Hope to see you on another unboxing real soon. Y'all have a good one.